Okay, this is my second video today. Um, I'm going to talk. This is my. S oh, before I say anything, check out my rant on TNA and them being shit. Oh, not shit. But not appealing to a wider demographic. Oh, and I should add to that. They are going to Japan, doing co promotion with uh, New Japan Pro Wrestling, and that's a step in the right direction because that's the kind of thing they should be doing to, to expand their fan base. Anyway. Back on to things. Um, yeah, what if episode seven? I think it is. Um, what? This is the thing. Um, nobody was giving me any questions, so I'll just come up with my own. That was the plan, anyway. Um, what if the WWE split into two companies? I don't mean two brands or or three brands or whatever. Two companies like WWE and TNA are two different companies, or you know WWF and WCW are two different companies. Um, no brand bullshit. Um, first of all, and this is very, I mean, I'm not going to say this is very likely to happen, but, um, you know, it, it's a possibility, a small possibility, but a possibility nonetheless, that it could happen in the future when Vince, uh, croaks it or gives up uh, or hands over power to Steph and Shane, because, as we all know, Steph, um, Shane thinks things should be run this way and Stephanie thinks they could, should be run that way and um you know the and it's just, and then you got so if there was a split what you would never we see it would happen when Vince left or went away or whatever and what you'd have is you'd probably have Shane on one side and Stephanie and Triple H on the other and you know never it would probably be WWE still with Stephanie and one company uh, running WWE and Shane might split off and make his own company um so, you know he has the money for it probably most likely let's say a whole bunch of WWE guys didn't like that you know triple, now that Stephanie and Triple H had complete control they didn't like that and they wanted out of their contracts and they went with Shane so that you had a division um, and you know enough guys, were, enough big names were going with Shane that the, the undercard and the roster thought, hey, there might be a chance we could make some money um, off Shane, uh, off Shane's promotion, um, and you know establish names for ourselves and not get squashed by Triple H. Um, I'm not going to you know, say, oh, who's going to go here? Because you know it could happen in 20 years. It might happen in five. I mean, it might not happen at all. Uh, probably won't happen at all. Sorry. Almost definitely won't happen. Um, anyway, what would happen would be you'd see Stephanie and Triple H on one side, and what you'd have because it, let's say it was relatively, let's say Vince you know retired tomorrow or whatever. Let's say or let's say it was not in the too distant future and Triple H was still wrestling. If you had that split, you would see Triple H just and and you know you had WWE. That's one company, and then you had Shane that has another, have another company, and so inevitably, inevitably you would have the brands go back into one thing, because you know you'd have such a a, a loss of talent um, for the WWE, and you know Shane could probably get his own TV deal, and you know they'd have a two-hour slot or whatever, doesn't matter, um, especially. Um, and you'd have Triple H become the top guy, and you know you'd probably have another war because. The only thing which is really a draw now in the WWE is the biggest draws in wrestling today are not wrestlers' names. They're they're the company, and the reason why it's a company is because not, no one guy leaving and going somewhere else, no matter how big the name is, really going to make that much of a difference. Because you know a majority of the WWE's fan base are young people, are, are, are kids, and they're WWE fans, and they don't. And it's not just one wrestler they're a fan of, and they're not going to... That one, you know, favourite wrestler... If they have, like, five favourite wrestlers and one of them goes away to another, something else, and then they're just still going to watch the thing with four of their favourites, and they'll, you know, develop new ones, and that's the thing with the WWE. But if you had a big enough split, and you had... Like, if you had enough talent go across, enough big-name talent to go across to another thing, then you'd have... A prop that's how WCW... Because they just took so many guys like so many guys from WWE that you know you had enough name power you can't do that now you, like Kurt Angle did nothing Sting did nothing Christian Cage did nothing or relatively nothing um 
So if you had Shane take all this talent, what you would have is, you, I, I think he'd probably take a lot of smaller guys, a lot of better wrestlers, and you'd have it because Stephanie is a lot like Vince's, and you know she's all about big guys, and and um, so it's Triple H, you know, it's it's about the the physically large guys, um, and apparently Shane isn't like that. It's bad, um, or he's not. You know, you have to be. He's more keen on smaller guys. Um, because I mean, look at him—he's not very big himself. And Vin, it's you know, Vince, you know, when he's wrestling, he's fucking massive. Anyway, you'd have you'd have Shane take a lot of the smaller guys, and you have these two promotions. They'd relatively be the same. They'd still be entertainment based and, and all that. The only difference between Shane's promotion and Stephanie's promotion is in Stephanie's promotion there would be it would be a lot like WCW, late WCW, as in. You'd have a lot of bad writing because she'd be doing a lot of the writing. You'd have um, a lot of politics because Triple H, you know, you to, to become champion, you'd have to be friends with Triple H. Um, and, you know, he, because he'd be running it as well. And, you know, he'd say, hey, so and so should be champion or whatever. But, and that's the only way you can become champion over Triple H is if he wants you to be. And the only way you can do that is to politic with him uh, or, you know, get on his good side. So that's how, you, that's how it would be done. Um, Whereas with Shane, he wouldn't have as much of a connection with wrestlers. He wouldn't have, uh, he wouldn't be um, uh, invest uh, emotionally. Inv oh, not emotionally. Um, they wouldn't be his friends. I mean, they'd, they'd he'd be friendly with him, but they wouldn't be, you know, politicking with him and stuff. It, it would be more like, I mean, yeah, there would be politics, but it just wouldn't be as bad with Stephanie and Triple H because I mean, just look at Raw. Raw's run by Stephanie and Triple H, and it's all about politics. SmackDown is run by other people, and it's a lot, uh, it's not as bad, um, and because of that, you would probably find that a lot of undercard guys would go to Shane's promotion, um, and a lot of the top guys would, and top guys would probably go to Shane and Steph's promotion, but there aren't as many top guys as there are undercard guys, and the undercard guys are usually younger and better wrestlers, so on Shane's promotion, you'd see better wrestling, you'd probably see better writing, because I mean, from things you know we've heard on the internet, not all of it's true, but let's, uh, assuming some of it is, then Chain has better grasp of the wrestling business than Stephanie does. So he'd be able to, and he'd probably hire better writers too. So you'd have better writers, you'd have better wrestling, you have better wrestlers. I mean, and but you wouldn't have the big name star power that you know, she, because WWE would still have uh, sponsorships and it would still have. Um, DVD distribution deals and all that kind of crap. So they would still have the money, so they could bring in big names, and and they would. They'd bring in big names, and it would be much like what WCW was in the late days. You'd ha you just have a whole bunch of big names clashing. I mean, maybe not the late days, but like 97, 98, you had all these a lot of star power. Um, whereas in Shane's promotion, you'd see what was happening in 90, late 97, 98. Um, even back to 95 and stuff, you were seeing a lot of younger guys, a lot of smaller guys, um, a lot of better wrestlers, um, competing, like, and not competing, um, oh yeah, doing, putting on really good products, so, <laughs> and Shane would probably be the one who would, he'd probably target the internet fans, because he would have the product which would appeal to them more. But what what would happen would be similar to what happened in the Monday Night Wars, or maybe not. Um, you would have one company which was had more wrestling, better storylines, and that would be WWF in the, the uh, n late nineties. And you'd have WWE, which would be like WCW, and we'll just ignore TNA because this uh, it's irrelevant. Um, where they would just have all these big names, and it'll be all all be about politics and and you know. Tri tri Triple H would just be at the top of the mountain. Even if he was 45 years old and could hardly wrestle anymore, he'd still be champion. Because yes, that's just the kind of guy he is. Um, and so yeah, you would have this big. Divi so if they would split, you would have two promotions. One would be good and wrestling based, and you know have good writing, which would be Shane's promotion, and one would be. St and the thing is, if Vince does give it, uh, retire or quit or whatever. Stephanie and Triple H are most likely to get control of it anyway, so unless, you know, Shane gets some control over the WWE in the future, we're going to see um, a lot of the same crap.